let's talk about Ferdinand Marcos. Marcos was the lawyer for Jose Rizal. It was Marcos who put the world's monetary gold reserves, other precious metals, gemstones, and art in trust for 50 years, and the ones who inherit this wealth, that's all of humanity. Ferdinand Marcos is a great hero. He turned down an offer by the Trilateral Commission in order to preserve the trust for humanity containing the world's assets. Ferdinand Marcos was overthrown by the CIA. Eric San Juan, a prominent journalist, originally published this story in 1998. San Juan was friends with James Brandon Foley, a CIA agent in the U.S. Embassy in 1986, when the EDSA revolution overthrew Ferdinand Marcos. EDSA is named for Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, the street of the CIA and Vatican engineered demonstrations against Ferdinand Marcos. The story also includes how Ted Koppel and Newsweek tried to destabilize Ferdinand Marcos, how the mainstream media ran stories blackmailing the Marcoses, and promises of immigration to the U.S. for striking workers and renegade generals. Last week there was a story in The Guardian accusing Marcos of corruption, and I commented that the Philippines Presidential Commission on Good Governance, it's simply an arm of the network of global corporate control, and that arm is trying to steal the world's assets from the world's people. And we have been foiling that attempt many times. We talked about how the CIA is not working for the security interests of the United States, or it's not even headquartered in Langley, Virginia. This is what we mentioned in our segment on Switzerland. The Central Intelligence Agency is located in Switzerland, which is the center of Europe. The CIA's office in Langley, Virginia is simply a branch. And the Guardian newspaper is owned by the network of global corporate control. It keeps on trying to fool the people. That attempt is no longer working as only 6% of the people trust the mainstream media anymore. Let's turn to John F. Kennedy now.